Hello traders, Gary Wagner here. Just before one o'clock in Honolulu, seven o'clock in New York, it is Monday, 13th day of April, 2020, and this is uh, the daily report for gold and silver. After trading to a low yesterday, of 1724, we saw the market recoup and recoup strongly to actually close up, closing up near double digits, up about $10. And then in the aftermarket right now, it is trading at 1764.60. I also sent out a special trade alert to raise our stops to 1721. With the low of 1724, which came after we raised our stop, I feel quite content that that stop was put in the right place. Nonetheless, we are still long and all clients should have stops at six, at 1721 with their long position at 1602. The other thing that we'll talk about today besides our trade and levels of support and resistance is we did have a question come in from a new subscriber that asked, now that I see the move that you're in and that you're in at 1602, do you recommend that I jump in? with the market as high as it is. And we will directly respond to that question with answers because my sense is if one person writes that comment into us or phones it into us, it means that there's many other new subscribers thinking the same thing. And I hope today's answer clarifies what you should be doing. Let's take a look at the price board and then our technical studies. Gold futures basis, the most active June contract, will finish up showing respectable gains today, 1762.90, a net gain of plus $10.10, almost six tenths of a percent. What is interesting is the way it evolved through trading as the market opened up Sunday afternoon here in Honolulu, which corresponds to the open in Australia Monday morning. It opened flat to a couple dollars higher, oscillated very quietly before beginning to sell off. As the market was trading lower, that is what prompted us to go ahead and raise our stops yesterday. Traders, my recommendation was to take your stop from 1668, I believe, to 1721. We did that when the market was trading at about 17. 41, in other words, a little bit below where it is now. The market did trade lower after that and traded actually to low of 1724 before recovering and moving to higher ground as it entered trading in the United States. Net gain today, six tenths of a percent. When we look at spot gold, that is over 1700 for the first time. 1712.60 up 1770, a net gain of about 1%. More importantly, it lessens the spread between spot and futures, although that spread is extremely wide. We had platinum gain about seven tenths of a percent, 753.90. Palladium also gained on the day with a net gain of about $32, 1.55%, closing at $2,142.70. The lone wolf in the precious metals complex today was silver, losing almost 2.5%, a net decline of 39 cents. That was done with a neutral dollar down 0.2% on the day, below 100 at 99.48 and a half. Let's take a look at our technical studies. Traders, we are looking at a 30-minute candlestick chart representing the last couple of days in trading. Of course, this marking here of the 12th represents midnight in Honolulu. Of course, we saw this market open up in Australia at noon here in Honolulu at approximately 1743. We can see that it traded slightly higher on the day before succumbing to pressure. The market actually traded to a low at that point of about 17. 34. It was during this decline that I sent out a special trade alert recommending the traders long at 1602 move their stops up to 21. We'll explain that particular price point when we pull up a daily chart, but that's here. Luckily enough, the market did rebound, come back up, and as it traded lower on the last dip, that last dip came in at roughly $1,731 per ounce and the low remained 1724. Of course, we are still long this market, 1602, with a stop at $1,720. My recommendation is to maintain your current position and make sure you have raised your stop to 1721. 
On a technical basis, we did close slightly above what I considered to be an area that could have been a real area of resistance, which is this former top that comes in right here at approximately 1751. We closed well above that today. And so on a technical basis, I clearly see no resistance from this price point on its close, which is 1762, up until 1800. Which brings us to an interesting question that was sent to me over the weekend by one of our new subscribers. And the question was basically one that they're a new subscriber. They see that we got in at 1602. Should they jump into the current trade or stand on the sidelines? My sense and my answer to him was the same I'm going to give to any other subscriber that has recently joined us. And that is in terms of the leverage in futures and the price where we're currently at, I do believe that we'll see a clear cut move to about $1,800. However, that's about $40 away from here and it could falter at any time. So my recommendation to the subscriber was to look at a couple of instruments. One, the GDX. The GDX is the Van Neck Vectors Gold Miner EFT. There is some leverage in there. And as you can see, really since the beginning of April right in here, we've seen it move up from about 23 to about 30. So a $7 move, that's a considerable move, about a 25% return. That would be one thing I consider. There is a little bit of leverage in there, but not a ton. And the other thing that I would participate in is simply GLD. GLD, of course, is the gold shares ETF. That was up 1.71% at 161.41, which means that it had a larger gain than either physical gold, which gained roughly 1.04%, or gold futures, which gained roughly six tenths of a percent on the day. So for subscribers that joined us recently and have been unable to participate in the current trade, an alternative, and my recommendation, is to begin to accumulate GLD and GDX. If the market does come down, because there is no leverage there, it won't detrimentally really hit your account hard. If the market does rally to 1800, you will be able to profit from us and get into our next futures trade when we get out of this and reposition ourselves. And traders, in terms of current level of minor resistance and minor support, the levels that we want to look at today are as follows. Let's start with resistance. Minor resistance has to be at 1773, and that is the intraday high today, 1772.80 to be precise, but that is the level in which it stalled and then began to back off to close at 1762.90. The level below that has got to be this former top. This former top comes in at about 1755. That would be the points that we want to look at as potential support here. And here, as we said, resistance comes in at 73, with major resistance coming in at around $1,800 per ounce. This has been Gary Wagner, wishing you, as always, good trading. We'll talk to you tomorrow for the next daily update and review. Bye-bye.